Welcome back. It's weather time. A lot of people probably woke up to rain, or we saw some rain earlier today. Yeah, and it's still a little wet Is outside, it? so some light rain. We might transition over to some really light snowfall, so some snowflakes will be possible. I, I don't think there will be much in terms of snowfall accumulations coming up here the rest of the night. We'll say less than an inch. The big thing is, will be the winds overnight tonight. So some snowfall continuing, mainly looking at north of Highway 14. Notice in northern Minnesota, Duluth, a lot of snow could have some lake effect of snow there. Then we have uh, some rainfall taking place just south of Highway 18. We're working in some dry air. Notice how with this storm system, we have the northern branch of some snow and some uh, southern branch of some snow, and then we have dry air working in right over our area. So we'll be looking at probably just some light rain and some light snowfall through the evening tonight. Rainfall amounts at some of the local airports here, so we're up to 39 one hundredths of an inch of rain at RST. I did get a report uh, from in Olmstead County close to around three tenths of an inch. So most of us about three tenths to four tenths of an inch of rain is what we've had today. As we look at Mason City, right around 22 one hundredths Winona, just shy of that three tenths mark. Austin will wait more rain fell than uh, just four one hundredths of an inch of rain in Austin. We still have those raindrops here on our lens, on our camera lens here on our Lewis and Adel live camera. Temperatures are at 33, now registering some light snowfall at RST. But again, temperatures have been so warm, it'll be really hard for any of this snowfall to really stick. But with those cooling temperatures, we could run into maybe some refreezing on some of those untreated surfaces. Temperatures here area wide right around about freezing, but notice where that front is at, still in the 40s, Rushford, Winona and in the lacrosse. Wind speeds will be strong. This is the big concern out west. This is why travel not advised and some roadways closed out in western Minnesota because we have sustained winds at 40 miles per hour with gusts approaching 40, 60, even 50. We'll be pulling in those strong winds here through the overnight hours tonight. So as we look at our alerts, Winter weather advisories continue west of I-35, Freeborn, Steel counties under that weather winter weather advisory through the evening. Then wind advisories in place in Tan there. That does include Mason City in northern Iowa. So what to expect? Light snow tonight, minor amounts. The big thing will be the strong winds tonight and through the day tomorrow. Below average and windy this upcoming weekend. So future track, some light snow continuing probably close to 8 to 9 o'clock here tonight. We pull in that cold air dropping down close to the single digits by tomorrow morning. It is cold tomorrow for St. Patrick's Day. Highs close to around 20 to even 25 degrees below average tomorrow. We'll have some flurries in the morning. Dry weather Saturday, Sunday and Monday. Another system moves in chance for some rain coming up Tuesday, extending into Wednesday. Tonight here the chance for some light snow, but those winds will be howling close to 40 miles per hour for those wind gusts overnight and the temperatures stay cold tomorrow. Wind chills below zero through most of the daytime hours tomorrow. That is for St. Patrick's Day, so highs in the mid teens, wind chills close to five to 10 degrees below zero. So high temperatures tomorrow, upper teens and some lower 20s. Like I said, close to 20 degrees below average for tomorrow. The weekend forecast here, 22 for the high Saturday, 30 on Sunday. So those high temperatures slowly improving. They'll improve next week. We're back to the 40s coming up by Monday. Mid 40s continue Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. We'll see that next system move in by the middle of next week. Cami. All right, Nick. Thank